For families of Bulger's victims, his death brings some closure. Julie McDonald continues our team coverage now, and Julie, relatives are really going through a range of emotions. Well, David, it's complicated. Obviously, word of Bulger's death doesn't bring their loved ones back. Some of them hoped for his suffering, others for more days spent in a cell, but they all agree on one thing. They don't want to hear about Whitey Bulger ever again. This is the end for myself and my family. A small sense of relief for families who have suffered heartache for decades. Patricia Donahue has missed her husband Michael since 1982. And now she hopes she finally won't hear the name of his killer again. I believe that you die the way you live. He killed people and he died being killed. Her son Tommy finds the news worth celebrating. He's praising the inmate with Whitey Bulger's blood on his hands. I'm glad he did it. If I could, I'd put money in his canteen for him. Donahue wished pain and fear on Bulger after years of his inflicting the same. A guy like him doesn't deserve a nice, easy death. He deserved a slow death, and that's what I hope he got. He deserved to live with the worry of walking out of his cell. Steve Davis's sister Deborah was the girlfriend of Bulger's partner in crime, Stephen Flemmy. It's believed she was killed for knowing too much about their business. Her brother hopes Bulger's death brings her some peace, too. I hope in my heart that she can feel it. I hope it, it helps her as much as it's helping a lot of us down here, you know. So Steve Davis says that he's halfway there finding his own sense of closure for him. The final chapter in this tragedy will come when Stephen Flemmy's life is also over. Lisa. Julie, thank you.